Remember that percentage yield is actual yield divided by theoretical yield. Actual yield will be given in the question. You'll probably have to find theoretical yield. Theoretical yield is the answer to the equation-based stoichiometry problem using the general method that we've been using. In other words, we first write down what's required, question mark and its unit, equals the given value given in the question with its unit and then we multiply that by the reacting ratio given in the format that is useful for answering this, namely with a given unit at the bottom so we can cancel that away. Don't forget that obviously you need a value in front of the given unit and the required unit at the top with its value obviously to introduce the required unit. So once we have the answer to that process, we have the theoretical yield, which goes at the bottom of our equation here. We're given the actual yield, divide actual by theoretical, multiply by 100, and we've solved our problem. So now let's get some practice with actual numbers. 15,6 grams of C6H6, which is benzene, reacts completely with nitric acid to form 18 grams of C6H5NO2, which is nitrobenzene. And we are asked, what is the percentage yield of this nitrobenzene? So first we have to identify, what are we given? What is required? Here we have required, very clearly, what is the percentage yield of c 6 h 5 NO2. But there's actually something else required before we can do that. We know that percentage yield is actual divided by theoretical multiplied by 100%. Now in all these questions, you're always given actual. How much yield? Yield refers to a product. So the actual yield always refers to an amount of product. So something over here, these are the products. And we are told the actual amount of one of these products that forms. There it is. Forms 18 grams of C6H5NO2. So we have that. That's what we're given. So 18 grams of C6H5NO2 is given and we need to identify what is that. That is the actual yield. We know that because, well, first of all, it's yield. It's a product. Whereas this information here is not yield. That's a reactant. So that is not the actual yield. So we have the actual yield of this substance. And then we are also given this value here, 15,6 grams of benzene. So that is also a piece of given information. Now we need to identify what is that. It's not actual yield. It's not theoretical yield. So what is it? It's the mass of a reactant. There it is reactant, which you're going to use to find this T that you're missing. Because you are required, actually, it's not written there, but you are also required to find the theoretical yield of nitrobenzene so that you can find the percentage yield. And you're going to use the mass of this benzene reactant to get the theoretical yield. So we are given the actual yield. We've got to use the information that we have to find the theoretical yield. In other words, we've got to make our own question where the required value is that theoretical yield. And the given is that mass of, in this case, benzene. We have to write our own sub-question. This is the total question that we're asked, but we need to write our own sub-question, which is, what is the theoretical yield of C6H5NO2 from 15,6 grams of C6H6? So now we need to answer this question. So we need the balanced equation. There it is. The balanced equation, it's very simple here. It's 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1, gives us the mole reacting ratio. Now remember, our question is, what mass of that would be produced from 15,6 grams of benzene? So we need a mass-mass ratio involving these two. So we ask ourselves, one mole of benzene, what is its mass? The molar mass of C6 is 6 times 12 for the carbon plus 6 times 1 for the hydrogen, 78 grams. 78 grams per mole is the molar mass. 
So one mole has a mass of 78 grams for benzene. Then we also need the molar mass of C6H5NO2. 6 times 12 for carbon, plus 5 times 1, of course it's 5, for hydrogen, plus 14 for nitrogen, plus 2 times 16 for oxygen. 123 grams per mole is the molar mass of nitrobenzene. One mole has a mass of 123 grams. So the mass ratio in which benzene and nitrobenzene react in this particular equation is 78 grams benzene for every 123 grams of nitrobenzene. So this here is our sub-question that we've made for ourselves. We need to find the theoretical yield of nitrobenzene from 15,6 grams of benzene. And here we have the relevant reaction ratio. So we ask ourselves, how many grams of C6H5NO2 do you get when 15,6 grams of benzene react completely? And to answer that, we need a conversion factor, the reaction ratio of these two chemicals for this particular reaction, making sure that grams of benzene is at the bottom, grams of nitrobenzene at the top. Obviously, it's not enough to just put the units there. We need the numbers too. The numbers are really the important thing. The units are just the guide. Where do we get those numbers from? From the reacting ratio. 123 grams of nitrobenzene are formed every time 78 grams of benzene react in this ratio. 15.6 multiplied by 1, 2, 3, divided by 78, equals 24,6 grams of C6H5NO2. So what have we calculated? That is the theoretical yield. So we haven't finished answering the question. We've just answered our sub-question. Now we need to answer the real question. What's the percentage yield? of the substance and we know that the formula is actual yield divided by theoretical yield times a hundred percent. The actual yield is the one given in the question 18 grams. The theoretical yield is what we calculated. If all of this had been pure and the reaction had gone to completion and everything had worked theoretically, then we've just seen, you can go back and see, we would have got 24,6 grams of the substance. So now we find out, well, what is the percentage of yield? 18 divided by 24.6 multiplied by 100, 73,17%. 73% of what you would have predicted should have been formed was actually formed.